last little project here in the RV that was on the honeydew list is the wife bought this clock. She wanted me to hang this clock. And this clock is, the outside of this clock is made out of, it's supposed to look like tile. It's some sort of a composite material. It's actually pretty heavy. So, you know, for, for a quartz wall clock, it's got some weight to it. And the problem with this is she wants me to hang it right there over that Sierra medallion on the wall there centered. And it's a good location. We've seen a lot of trailers that ha came with clocks in that location, so that kind of makes sense. What I don't like is the very thin wall construction. I really don't like the idea of putting any holes in that at all. Um, and I don't know how thick that wall is. And I, with the weight of this clock, I want something kind of substantial. So here's the idea I came up with that she approved, which is that I would come up with some sort of a wood blocking system that we'd, we would put temporarily in here. Because this is the slide out. So this actually, this whole thing is going to move in when the slide out is in the stowed position for going down the road. In the meantime, when it's out, we'll put some kind of blocking in here behind here that'll hide and stick up and then the screw will be on the blocking so effectively it'll be kind of wedged in here and I think it's going to be easier to just show you my plan and so I know that the where the screw is going to be is nine inches from the bottom edge here and if I give myself a little extra wood because I don't want obviously I gotta screw the screw into the uh, into the wood not the edge of the wood so let's just say for argument we use 10 inches so that means I know that I want on this edge 10 inches of wood exposed going up all right so let's get an idea how wide this channel is back here the channel is let's see two and a half inches wide give or take well, two and a half inches wide so I know that's what I, the space I want to fill Oh, this is funny. The cutoff slats that I have left over are a quarter inch thick. So if I put two of them together, it's a half inch. And actually, the length they're at is not bad at all. I think this might actually work. So let's throw this together and see what happens. All right, I don't have to get too fancy. This doesn't have to be uh, strong as Fort Knox or anything. So I'm just using drywall screws here. And I'm not going to bother countersinking them. I know if I screw them in far enough, they'll, uh, they'll certainly, uh, the heads will crush this soft pine and uh, they'll be recessed enough for my taste but I am going to pre-drill these because this is narrow enough that it will probably split if I don't all right so here we go it's two screws holding this together and now I want to put this basically on the back like that all right so there it is so all I got left to do is find a proper screw to put in here for the clock to hang on. And let's test it out and see how it fits in that slot. Uh, magic moment. Son of a gun. Too tight. It just wants to fit just barely. Just a little too tight. Uh, if I had my table saw handy, I could just not even take this apart and just run it right on the table saw and rip off just enough. But I don't have my table saw set up. All right. Use my old trusty Delta bandsaw to do this job since it's actually. 
out here accessible. And tightening the tension on the blade that's in there because whenever I'm not using this saw, I release the tension on the blade. both hands to do this. It's been so long since I used this saw I forgot that I need to drop this guy down. Uh, well, judging by the burn marks and the smoke I was getting, I'd say that I really need a new blade on this saw. It's been a long time since I've used it. Anyways, shaved a little off. The blade wandered a little bit near the end there, so it might feel a little thicker here still. But I did take some off, so let's go see how it fits. Well, still gonna take a little bit more off, and since I wasn't cutting evenly and the blade was wandering so much, I decided to move the fence on this side. That way, I should be able to drop this guy down even closer to the top of that block. See, ideally, what I want is I want this almost on top of the block like that. And the problem is that on this side, this was hitting the fence. On this side, we might be able to get closer. Yeah, that's better. Helps the blade from wandering. Now, let's see. About the thickness it's at right now. So now I'm gonna release this and bring this over. Oops. Bring this over. Hitting this ball bearing. All right, that should take about a 30 second an inch more off. Let me see how that looks. Well, as close as I can get the fence. So I'm gonna pick off this paper thin piece. Plus, of course, the thickness of the blade. So that's the last of the bandsaw tonight. So I guess I'll release the tension on the blade. Because I'm done with this. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go to plan B. Somewhere around here. I have a little block plan. I could probably just plane off what I need to. This pine's so soft. It'd be easy. It'd be harder to find the plane than it would be to actually do the job. Uh, two baseball games today, so I'm gonna be able to work on this much this afternoon. I had to draw and I had to fix that. So now it's Saturday night and this is what I'm doing. For fun. Ah, perfect. Just a little tight. But that'll actually work. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. That'll work to my advantage. Always seems like when you're ninety nine percent done with your project and you only get one more screw to drill that uh, your uh, drill dies. So that's the problem with the lithium ions. They hold a charge better than the nickel cadmium, but, or cadmium, but they uh, tend to fail suddenly on you. So they go from being weak one second to just gone. Fortunately for me, I always keep my extra battery charged. So uh, I'm gonna use one of these screws that's left over from the the drawer repair because the head of the screw will lock in there just fine and they're nice and short so I don't have to worry about them going too far into the little thin pieces of wood up there as far as what height to put the screw at I'm just gonna take a stab at that height right there hang the clock and then get a gander at it because a couple of things I want to consider is I need it to be high enough up so that when you're looking at it at an angle the bottom of the clock's not all obscured by the fact that it's sitting behind this other piece. Okay so that's going to be too high. Too much of this wood showing. It looks like a really lot of it's showing here but it's actually not that much because when you're down here at an angle and looking at it less of it's going to be visible.
but I could still see quite a bit. So looks like we'll have to drop off a couple more inches. I also decided I am going to find a longer screw than the ones I've been using here because uh, I've got to take into account that this hole is recessed behind this edge right here and also these parts right here so what happens is if this screw is really short kind of design is kind of stupid but as far as I'm concerned get a longer screw better off so there we go the honeydew list is complete and I could just take the clock off the wall and pull the block off and slide the slider in when we're going down the road and then just put it back up whenever we're setting up. And that way I can avoid any holes in the wall.